I felt almost like an enabler when I was like, oh, go follow me on TikTok. I'm like, kids should not have TikTok. I see. Now, pause a moment and just talk about generally why kids shouldn't be on TikTok. In a, you know, like separate from the fact that you were on there and your experience as a creator. Yeah. The main thing is, is you cannot control what shows up in your For You page. So your For You page is basically when you first log on, it's just random videos that are suggested for you. You don't control anything. So an underage girl in a bikini could show up dancing to, you know, WAP or something. And you see that you're a witness to that. Mm -hmm. And I believe Father Ripperger has also mentioned <laughs> that like our screens are a portal in some ways. Mm -hmm. And so if somebody's struggling with a sexual sin of some type and they come across that, they're going to be tempted. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of like immoral stuff. There's so much. I mean, on TikTok, there's literal YouTube videos where Gen Z has created their own mental illnesses. <laughs> like they pretend to have like D, uh, was it D, D and D or D? Or, I don't know. Multiple personality disorder. Yeah. And like they're creating a fake mental illness, and it's causing people who have real mental illnesses to kind of like um, recede even more into themselves and become more depressed and stuff because they're just like, oh because like those people are basically making fun of them and giving them a bad rap if they act, you know and I so see. there's just so much degenerate stuff on tiktok that it's like if you're exposed to that for long periods of time tiktok's very addictive like it's scrolling and there's bright colors and bright videos you just want to keep scrolling that's what i hear from people they, yeah. they say that it just sucks them in and you know in addition to the immoral content just the addictive nature of it, even if you were watching something that wasn't immoral, seems to me to be problematic. Well, I just only- suck so much of your yeah. day away, I'm sure. Oh yeah, like hours, easily, without so even did you, knowing. So do you, are you on it anymore? Like no. to, to watch, good for you. Everyone should I quit refuse. TikTok. I would like to, I'm on TikTok. How can I get banned? I want to record a video and get banned on TikTok. <laughs> we have to get a snake. <laughs> yeah, get, get your son snake. <laughs> okay. snake. You, yeah. you, you, I really would like you to put this in your bio. Her yeah. greatest achievement is ha as being banned from TikTok. Greatest achievement. I Honestly. should get my own daughter of God, then be Okay, sure. Fair enough. Fair I'll enough. do it. But I mean, I would definitely get myself a trophy and be like, banned from TikTok. Oh, that would be cool. I'll get you one. I'll post with that. I will get you one. Really? Yes. I'm Neil, so remind excited. me. We're going to get you. Yeah. We're going to do it and I'll send it to you. That's amazing. That. I'll be like, got banned from TikTok. Yes. It's so true though. I mean, there's all these apps and now Instagram's becoming more like TikTok with the scrolling, but it's not as good. It's like, almost, yeah, it is almost like YouTube and Instagram are trying to catch up with the addictive nature because you, you show up. See, I don't use social media. I have someone else run it because it just ruins my head. Smart. But when we opened the Cigar Lounge, or we are about to open the Cigar Lounge, I downloaded Instagram and hadn't been on it for a year or two. And it was surprising to me how it had changed. Old man. And also just how much of it was being suggested to you. Like, it's almost like, like shut up. We know what you want. Mm -hmm. YouTube does the same thing. And it's tr they're right. Like, we know what you'll click on more than you know what you want. And also the ads on Instagram, they look they look like posts. And so Instagram knows when you slow down to look at something, it like targets it. It's like, if you look at it for longer than three seconds, amazing. it knows. So brilliant. And I'm just like, that's great. And also creepy. Yeah. Like stalker. So are there any other apps that you're currently on that you think I would like to get off this app? Twitter. Yeah. Easily. This, I was talking to Trent Horn about this in a recent interview, and he said it's them. something about the truncating of the message that makes the thing bad. Mm -hmm. So on Facebook, even if people may not read it, you can post a paragraph or two. But Twitter and TikTok only allow you to say so much, mm -hmm. which lends itself to sort of bombastic, inflammatory speech. Well, because you have to get rid of really necessary words to make it sound like you're not like in their face. Instead of being like, hey, this is a really great video that I think you should go check out. It's like, Check out this video. Yeah. You know, you have to yeah, get rid of some. And, and there's no yeah. room for nuance. So if you're trying to have a serious discussion about anything, you may not be able to do it or you probably won't be able to do it. Mm hmm. Yeah, good for you. It's weird. Yeah, you should I don't get like, Twitter. I also, because on Twitter, there's so much group thinking. You know, one person starts ganging up on this guy and he's kind of popular or this girl or whatever. And then everybody jumps on yeah. it because they're like, oh, I follow this person too. And like, yeah, he shouldn't have said this or she yes. shouldn't have done that or this picture is like this. And also there's a lot of weird creeps on there that are like addicted to feet. On what? Instagram? Twitter. No, Twitter. Twitter has a real problem with pornography. They have pornographic accounts like, that they that? refuse to ban it. How dare so, they? <laughs> okay. So what, so what social media do you enjoy using the most in that you think it's reaching the most people in the best possible way? YouTube? <sighs> I honestly would probably say Instagram, actually. I'm not the biggest fan of being on it, but I get a lot of positive feedback on there more than I do YouTube. And I think it's because 
people really don't want to sit and watch a video. Like probably even this video, a lot of people are listening to like a podcast mm -hmm. almost, you know? Um, so people really like my podcast and they also like my YouTube videos. But if the YouTube video is like a podcasting format where they can listen to it, but they don't need any visualization mm -hmm, mm -hmm. unless it's like a really short video. On Instagram though, I have the option of doing short video from the reels. I can post on my story and get a quick thing on there that's not gonna be up there for longer than 24 hours, or I can make a post that's permanent. Um, and I think it offers a wide variety of options for people. Like if you want to do a video, you yeah. can watch the reels. If you want to post, you can look at the post and read the post. Um, and it offers context through pictures instead of on Twitter. Thank you very much for watching that clip. Before you go, do us a favor, click like, click subscribe. And if this really meant something to you, help us out by sharing it.